She's not a politician and she's not an economist. She's just an everyday average Israeli. But she's become the face of the social protest movement, the voice for so many who are living under economic hardship. I'm talking about Daphna Leaf, the 25-year-old filmmaker, the first person who pitched her tent on Rothschild Boulevard. I met her today, and I began by asking her if she ever believed her tent would spark a national protest. Well, you know, I have a very visual imagination, so obviously when I, put, when I thought about putting a tent, I thought about how it would look, you know, everything would be full of tents. Um, I think that in my wildest dreams, you know, I could hope, but at that moment it was completely spontaneous, you know, I was like, I'm, I've had it. Is the social protest movement interested in toppling Prime Minister Netanyahu's government? No, I can tell you even more than that. What do, what do we get from, you know, bringing down a government if we don't have, you know, the winds of change with it? Then who's going to come next? You know, I can see that, for example, I'm, 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 I'm afraid from places like Egypt, you know, who have uh, done such an amazing, you know, it was a tour de force what they did there. But you need to think for, forward. If you had five minutes with Prime Minister Netanyahu one-on-one, -on -one, what would you say to him? I don't, I don't need five minutes with the Prime Minister. I have nothing personal to say to him. You know, this is not about two people having a dialogue. This is about an entire country who is in need. It's unbelievable. Do you have confidence that Prime Minister Netanyahu's government can make the changes that are needed? If the government does not have the tools and information to make any sort of change, then we've chosen wrong. But I'm sure that if you put your mind to it, you can fix it. You say the system needs to change. What does that mean? It means changing the way you relate to the people. That's the first thing, you know, being so detached from the demands, trying to negotiate or make it blow away is a part of a current system that is neglecting of us. What's next for the social protest movement? This is an entire population gradually going on the streets saying we've had enough, we want what we deserve, we don't want charity, we want justice. You know, that's, a, that's one of the best slogans, I think. And uh, our job is to keep screaming this out. And if we're, you know, eventually, I don't know when, if it's going to be tomorrow or in a week, but it's very easy to come up with a plan and show it in some sort of press conference to the entire population. And in some point, we're going to stop waiting for somebody else and we're going to take control.